Hey neighbor, today let's talk about how your clay soil affects your grass and your fertilizer applications. Now this topic of how clay soil can affect your lawn and your fertilizer isn't commonly talked about, but it's worth looking into. Your soil is either gonna be a clay soil or a sandy soil. The differences are pretty self-explanatory. Right, if you live in Wisconsin in the southeast corner like I do, your soil is going to be more of this silty clay-like soil. Now, this soil is different than sandy soil because clay soil can be easily compacted. Its molecular structure is a lot tighter than that of clay soil. Now, this tight molecular structure is good for holding water and also can hold on to your fertilizers and your pesticides longer as well. So year after year of pesticide and fertilizer applications in your soil can actually be held up in your soil and can cause what is called soil souring where there's too much sitting in the soil and this can affect your grass plant. So what this will do is it's going to wreck and disturb the microbial activity and balance that you have going on in your soil. And remember that your soil is the most important part of having a nice lawn. If you don't have good soil, you're not gonna have a good lawn. Let's take a look at how this works. A large part of the atmosphere is nitrogen consisting of two atoms bonded tightly together. This is useless to your lawn. Bacteria in your soil eat this nitrogen and then it makes ammonium, which then is eaten up by other bacteria that creates nitrites and again by other bacteria to finally make nitrate, which is easily accessible and used by your grass. Now if it's close enough, this can be taken up through the roots of your grass or through the help of fungi. Leaves and grass clippings also are very rich in nitrogen. And they can be brought down by worms whose excrements is also eaten by this helpful bacteria. You see that microbial activity is very important to your grass plant and without it, it would not thrive. Too much fertilizer sitting in your soil can cause the worms to be pushed away, can disrupt the fungus, and it can change your soil's pH, causing a bad environment for the microbes being inhospitable for these helpful bacteria. And now you're left with no organisms which can help your lawn, and you need to add more and more fertilizer. But the root fungi also helped with bringing up micronutrients for the grass. And you're left with needing to add more micronutrients as well. Now please don't misunderstand me, I am definitely not against using fertilizers or any type of pesticides, but let me share a couple of tips that I think might help us out when we're dealing with our clay soil and we want to have that nice lawn. All right. Number one, if you can, every once in a while, use a natural fertilizer. Something like a Scott's uh, natural fertilizer or, of course, the uh, malorganite if you don't have too much phosphorus or a Ringer Lawn Restore. Those are all excellent options to think of. All right, well, number two, you can use something called humic acid. Now what humic acid is, it's a soil conditioner that can really help your clay soil to open up, allowing more air and more water uh, flowing through it, um, better used by your grass plants. And the last thing is definitely I would not use any type of weed and feeds. There's no need to cover your lawn with a weed killer um, it's better just to spot spray those weeds, or if there's a larger area, um, spray those areas, but definitely um, stop using the weed and feed. All right, if you've made it to the end of this video, thank you. And I wanna say thank you to everybody who's been watching these videos from the very beginning, and to our new subscribers who have recently just joined on. And as a way to show my appreciation, I wanna buy you a bag of your own fertilizer. It could be any fertilizer that you wish or of your choosing. The way you enter is you subscribe to the channel, you like this video and you put down a comment below. Now, it could be anything as far as maybe telling about your lawn, asking a question, or even telling you what you think about the channel, either good or bad. So thank you and thanks for watching. <music>